Passion hour, baby. You already know what it is. I came on a little too strong. I do apologize about that, but you already know what it is. This is your boy, Mr. E, boss of the Southside Bosses. And you know, little boy got the passion in him tonight. I know y'all been devoid of the passion. Y'all been devoid of anything that gave me energy to, you know. But that, that's because, you know, I just didn't understand people at the time. You know, we was going through, uh, me and humans was going through a, a, a weird stage at that time, you know, where people say they have love in their heart, but they talk with a lot of hatred in their heart. You know, when they say that when it comes to humanity, that humanity should be treated equally, but yet they demand above equal act. Uh, average status above average status you know uh it, it just hurt me and that's why tonight i really want to talk about this topic because this topic has been eating at me for some years for some years now anybody who knows me knows that when i was raised up i was raised up by people uh not my family not my mom not my stepdad not no no not that that but the, the people that i hung around they were constantly down white people. And I know this is a, a, a sensitive conversation, but I got to talk about this. Um, there's actually a, 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 even a model that goes around now that you can't be pro-black and date white people at the same time. Now, I just have a fucking issue with that. And that issue is that Obama is the first black president of the United States, but his mom is white. And we fail to realize that his dad was in Africa, or his family was in, his dad's family was in Africa, so who helped raise Obama in the United States? The white side of his family, his mom's family. And, well, he became my first black president of the United States. And, you know, it's, it's some arguments out there that say that he didn't do shit for black people, or he did everything for black people, or this, this, that, that. You know, but you know, if you actually didn't, haven't done that, education then you shouldn't really talk about it just study more you know that's all i can say and i like how i ended that study more you feel me not m-o-r-e but m-o-o-r yeah go study that anyways but like i would go get back to the subject i just felt that real funny how somebody would say that you shouldn't date white people and then turn around and praise obama because he was the first black president of the united states failing to realize that his mom was white he was raised by a white woman and as excellent as he as he did he was raised by a white woman so what does that tell you you know i mean simple con simple conjecture would tell me that it's not about the color of your skin but about the deeds of your heart that's all i'm saying you know, a lot of people out there, they, they like to uh, talk. Uh, and see, this is where it hurts me at. Because if, if it was just about dating, 
I, I, hey, everybody can have their own preference. That's I can't say nothing about that. If you prefer not to date white people, then that's your preference. I can't. I can't. Nobody can hate you for that because then that would make them, you know, a prejudiced person, <laughs> to say the least. You know. But anyways, but to say that. You would that nobody, nobody is that black is or the color black. Not uh, excuse me, the label black. We ain't talking about the color black because there ain't that many black people in the world color wise. It's a label. Anyways, to say that you would say this black man or this black woman as n- not being for the cause or not being pro black or not being. Um, any other fucking negative statement that you could say towards that and then turn around and say that Obama was the greatest president we ever had now that fact could still reign true but the way that you put a spin on is that is that Obama was the best president we ever had because he was black technically he was raised by his white mom and his white family. And they did an excellent job raising this young black man in America who father's family was from Africa and in Africa. They did an excellent job raising him and keeping him true to his roots. Look at him. He married a black woman, a full black woman, have black children that are three quarters black. If you want to do the math that way (laughs) but as we see we see that this half black man and half white man who used to be a mixed child which is where i'm going with this used to be a mixed child was raised to be this great man but y'all claim he's black not mixed now oh so he became president so now he ain't mixed but According to your philosophy, if you would have met him as a child, he wouldn't even been nowhere near included in any black family that you would have been a part of. Because you say mixed children are not black. I'm sorry, but that's the definition of mixed. I'm I'm sorry. Just because you make Kool-Aid don't make it not water. (laughs) <laughs> it's flavored water now with sugar and flavoring added to it. It, it. It's still water. I'm not saying it would be as healthy as water in its purest form. I, I'm not saying that and I'm not trying to even apply that to any scenario right now. But I am going to say it's still water. So you can, it, it, just because it has something added to it, which all of us do. Don't forget that. Unless you was born in a tribe that had never been touched by a white man. Like that tribe that that white man got killed trying to preach the Bible to. When they was doing God right. And they were like, no nigga, you ain't coming over here. (laughs) Unless you him. Unless you him and a part of that. uh, Excuse me, not him. But a part of that tribe. Then you can't say that you are straight whatever the fuck you think you are. And uh, I'm sorry. I have to bring this to light because this is passion hour. And we're supposed to show passion. Love and heart to everybody. Everybody. I mean, come on, man. You say we better than these people who have hatred in their heart, but yet you exhibit hatred all throughout your speech. And you know what is what is said about your speech. Whatever's in your heart will come out your mouth. So, uh, and this coming from somebody who has been there. I'm sorry. I know y'all hearing in, in the background, but... This is some real honor. I had to get this off my chest. I really do. And I've been years, years contemplating about this. Fighting with people on uh, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. About the fact that I don't know if that sounds right. That's all it was for me at first. Now it's, it, it, yeah, it's like it doesn't sound right. Now it's a falsity. It's, a, it's not, not a falsity. I'm sorry. It's a false statement. It's a false statement. It's no way in hell you could be pro-black without loving white people because of the abolitionists. Because of the soldiers. Yes, they dedicated their lives to a country. But that country said, I need you to go and free these black people who are being enslaved on our own land. And just to let you know, that was the Republican Party. Yeah, the Democratic Party came from the South. 
where they still had slaves. So with that being said, how do you actually justify being a pro-black person and not hating everything that's not black? Because that's all you're saying. I'm sorry. I, I, I used to believe for a long, for a few years that to be pro-black ain't anti-white. It's That's the truth that it's supposed to be. But the narrative that has been set forth has, is that to be pro-black, you have to hate everything white. And I just don't agree with that. Hell, I don't agree with the labels from Jump. Maybe that's what changed my mind. Is I seen them as labels, and I, I, I look re I reread history, but that's beside the point. But the point I'm trying to make is that you can't say you have love in your heart, and at the same time have hatred in your heart, or non exclusive, uh, non okay, I can't say it right now, <laughs> non exclusivity. Meaning you can't, you cannot involve anybody that is strictly black because in that case, then your circle should be very, 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 very small. So small that you could turn around and not see anybody. You could take a 360 degree spin. You could do a Michael Jackson spin and not see anybody because of the simple fact, not even you, because of the simple fact that nobody is truly fucking black. I'm sorry. You got to get that through your head. Nobody in America, and excuse me, in the United States is truly black. So if you get that through your head, you will be able to see exactly what you're supposed to see. You will be taking the black rose, the black colored goggles off, as they say, the rose, co the rose colored goggles, the rose colored glasses or whatever. You'll be able to take off the black colored glasses and be able to see it for what it really is, then be able to people person for what they are. Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about? R. Kelly, he turned himself in. You know, he had to turn himself in, right? Yeah, million dollar bond, right? Yeah. Now, a million dollar bond is for a crime like that, for a person of that stature really shouldn't, it, it would mean that they really don't have evidence against them. But this is the fourth or fifth time he's been accused of this. The second time he's been ran through the criminal system. Yeah, but... If y'all want to know more about that, check out that last uh, that last revolutionary hour we did. You'll be able to find that on sbcmovement.com or at spreaker.com forward slash mr underscore e. And, you know, I just have to push that. The reason why I have to push that is because I have to teach my children. And I don't want to teach them something that makes no sense to the point where they come back and ask me, Dad. This makes no sense. Can you elaborate? And I can't. You know how stupid I'm going to look? I'm just saying. I, I'm, I'm going to look real stupid. So I'm going to avoid that because I don't lie to my children. I tell my children the truth. And if I don't know the answer, I tell my children the truth. Go look it up. Go read a book. But this is your boy, Mr. E. I'm sorry I, had, I, I went on a little ramble then. It ain't because of the glass. As you can hear, it's still a full glass. You feel me? <laughs> These are just thoughts that's been on my mind for a few, several weeks. And I hope it resonates with my listeners. And I don't lose a few of you. But if I do, hey, the ones I lose. And if I lose you because you don't agree with the pro-black statement that I said. I hope it gets better for you, but eventually you're going to have to see that you have to get along with everybody in the world. Not every person, excuse me, I said that wrong, not everybody, but every people. Every people you're going to have to get along with. You're going to have to get along with your own kind, for one, because this is your community. You need to start doing better for them. And if you are somebody who has not even gone to a homeless shelter, if you can't even go to a homeless shelter and and do some home some work for the community, then you ain't got a right to say anything. If you are like selfish and you keep to yourself, hey, I'm not knocking that, but you can't say nothing at the same time because people are going to ask you, what have you done? 
and y'all don't want me to list off my contributions. You already know what I've done. <laughs> and if you don't know what I've done, you better go ask somebody because they know about me. My, I, I, my name don't flow around on the stage or in a limelight or anything like that. No, I'm in the grime light because I do for my community. I haven't done anything in Lufkin, but we got plans. Lufkin, I'm about to bring something to you that pff, I can't tell you that it's going to be easy. It's going to shake your whole world, but it's coming. And so I just want everybody to know if you are willing to make a change, it's time to be the change. I'm not talking to you adults anymore. I'm just putting this out here because I felt like I had to. I felt like I had to because there's children that's growing up and music like this is the music that I promote to these children because they need love in their life with you teaching them all that hate. So with that said, Mr. E, boss of the Southside bosses, you feel me? We're going to be coming back on here, but you know, I had to play a little bit of Climax from your girl, Shira Cooley. If y'all know anything about Climax, you know, there was an the 80s pop band that went platinum and they was the punch at the time you feel me <laughs> they was the they was the the knees bees at the time and it, that it, it, i remember from my grandma and my mom bumping their music especially meeting in the ladies room and and miss you and i miss you i miss you which we're gonna play a little bit later on the night you know but uh they got a new uh they they're reconstructing the group Cheryl cooley the original guitarist of the all-female band climax is taking on another generation of climax and it's gonna be bringing you some great great music so y'all go ahead and tune in right now as we play love me by climax on boss radio baby you know this is passion hour If you love me Take me by the hand and show me Put a ring on it and let me on it
I'm having flashbacks. I love it when you tell me, bring that thing back. Seizures in my legs when he goes down. Got me cooking and cleaning with no clothes on. Twice what your needs are Cause I'ma come running like a track star Cause you give me that good feeling I swear it's something that I've been missing So don't waste my time telling me about mine Cause I ain't listening
Now hear this Must be doing something right When they try to find what's wrong That's hate It should be different But I'm surrounded by crabs Tipping over the barrel I remain unbothered BOSS Radio, Southside Bosses, its owners and associates take no responsibility for the opinions or statements made by the talk show host or their guests. Statements or show topics are not necessarily the beliefs of the site or this radio station, and opinions between talk show hosts may conflict. This site does not endorse anything as the truth that you will have to judge for yourself. But we try to speak the truth on the owner's behalf and reserve the right to question the supposed truth. In this time of misinformation, government controlled media, and government corruption, it is sometimes hard to get to the truth, but we must try. It is not our intention to libel, discriminate, make hate, or annoy anyone. We believe that it is our constitutional First Amendment right of free speech to voice our opinions and our duty to the Constitution and country to expose the truth. This site takes no responsibility for the opinions of others and the postings of comments in chat rooms or forum posts. And with that being said, your boy is back. This is your boy, Mr. E. Boss of the Southside Bosses, and this is Passion Hour, where we play all of the great underground R&B. If you ain't heard it, it'll be here. But one thing I wanted to say, uh, I needed to definitely add this because a, a lot of people don't understand what I mean. When I say that the children are the ones that I'm worried about right now, I'm only doing this for, not for fun, but for your benefit, you can choose to listen to it or not i'm not going to teach you this stuff because if this stuff wasn't taught to you already it's going to be very hard for you to accept it but one thing i can say is that we definitely need to stop blaming the child for being missed that is one of the most detrimental things you can do to a human being is blame them when they are in no substance of control They didn't even exist when their parents conceived them. The parents brought them into life. And if you give them a while and let them grow, nurture them, teach them, then they can be a wonderful person, such as Barack Obama. Now, just imagine if Michelle Obama, being a strong black woman, felt the same way you felt, or not you, my listeners, I'm sorry, but to the people that do feel this way about the interracial relations, whatever. But just imagine if she would have thought like that, then you do you think that she would have ever got with Barack Obama? And if she would have never got with Barack Obama, do you think he would have attained the confidence that was needed to run for president of the United States? While we blaming these children, We're taking away their confidence and we're taking away the ability to change the future. You keep saying you want change, but I really don't think you want change. I think what you want is a handout. I'm going to call you out right now. I'm sorry. I think you want a handout. Because I feel like for the most part when I believe what you believe, that's what I wanted. I honestly do. Maybe that's just me personally. But I'm going to have to go on the ledge right now and say that I think that that's what you want. You want a handout. Well, my hand is out right now. I am with my hand. I am offering all the knowledge that you can attain and utilize to bring that change that you want to see. But there's only one catch. You have to leave race in the background. That's the only way, true way to be able to move forward is by showing love To every people. That's the only way. So with that being said. If you're willing to do that. Come through to our Facebook page. At True Heritage. And if you're willing to learn. How to make real money. 
and learn how to make taxes work for you. Come and get the resources that I've placed in the Economic Salvation group on, on Facebook. Attain that information. Read it. Learn it. Put it into practice. And I guarantee you will see a better quality of your life. But one thing you're going to have to do is leave that hatred behind. Because that hatred will hinder you from doing what you have to do for you. Trust me, I know for 30 something years, I felt like God don't love me. Hmm. I keep getting punished for everything I do. Hmm. What is going on? Why am why is it that I'm the one getting fucked over when all these other people are out there doing what they're doing? You know why? Cuz A, I was too worried too busy worried about them. And B, I was also Miseducated. And I'm sorry, that's not my name. I'm not introducing myself. I'm Mr. E. But I was miseducated as a youth. And it kept me from making so much progress. Now, so much progress is being made. I told y'all it's going to be a lot going on in 2019. So y'all better, better keep on your P's and Q's. Stay on your tippy toes. Because around here... It's going to go down. It's going to go down real good. Because of the fact that. Heh, now I get it. Do you? <laughs> I'm not like your girl. Jazlyn Soul. On her song Stuck. <laughs> I, I may be a little, I'm about to get stuck. Because uh, this will be the last time. I'm going to be speaking to y'all tonight. After this is straight music. With me proceeding to get stuck. <laughs> if you don't know what that means, that means I'm going to be in this chair doing nothing for probably like an hour because I'm stuck in it. <laughs> so I hope you chilling with your lover. I hope you chilling with people that you love right now who you can sit and look in their eyes and have a deep conversation on these matters. And hopefully we can be able to make some changes around here because change is what's needed. Trust me. I know if it wasn't for me. Being changed, or not, excuse me, uh, not changing for myself, I wouldn't be here talking to you right now. So please take that in consideration. But all right, let's go ahead and keep it moving. Because you know, I like this song right here because it, it, I'm original. Your boy Sharif Thomas, he put it down right here. And it, it's a jamming song, so y'all gonna really enjoy it right now. Y'all know y'all listening to the have you ever been told to the hottest brother in the middle of an argument? And then you stop and realize what she say to you, and it sounds like it makes sense. Can 
give your money no space Don't need to make plans, it's all good You know how I brother like I do You ain't never got a one, no, no You ain't never got a fun, no more Just be sexy, that's all Give me your number on the loading I hit you up in the morning Give me your number on the loading Hit you up in the morning. I'm original. Who says you gotta walk before you can talk? I'm original. Who says you gotta breathe? Matrix up the sleeves. I'm original. Who says you can't drive? Oh, I'm original. I'm original. If you feel it. Put your drinks in the air like this hey, If you feel like this hey, Put your drinks in the air
you to let me know Come over and snatch my soul, my soul My soul
Focus on my mind, legs entwined Gotta put it down so I know you mind Help it down for your nigga do a hard time Even close your legs when I'm doing hard time Gotta respect that, you never check that You see a fat ass and you say, hey baby, check that I don't know how I look though with you But I know I never fuck up with you As long as we both grind champagne on airlines I provide cause you the opposite of jail time I gotta get it every day, it's how to be a bummy I got a plan over stands, stack a couple hundred Grands in the bank just to do my kids' laundry If you down with that, then we can get it, baby But soon as I see the shady, you gotta kick it, baby I know it's wrong, but life is a business, lady If you can keep it 100, then I can keep it gravy Hey, float boats like we the Navy In Dade County, pop these till we all faded The day ATLA strip clubs and cause a miracle It's raining in the mall, look, it's hysterical up on a satellite. How I do your bar, you know I lay it down and I break it hard. Use much protection, but I'm still coming raw. Dig it while you screaming, they swear I broke the law. I like the way you think when you use your jaws. I know you got a head conversation with my ball. You lick it like a portrait, I pin you to the wall. I hear the echo while I got you screaming down the hall. You know I hold you up, so let that waterfall. Squirt, baby, squirt, got a brother standing tall. Go ahead and touch the heavens, I got you blacking out. You screaming for some more, but ain't no backing out. I bet you learned your lesson, but I'ma let you sleep. Because this is the beginning of a long week. I'll be all you need, I need all you got. I swear, baby, this is real, you hit the jackpot. Ooh, baby, tell me what. I hope you cut up. How you turn a blind eye to what's going on today? All this hate, all this animosity. We gotta get it together. Let's love one another. You look in a way these days. It just doesn't work this way. What's up with that? Tell me what's up. Bring it back. In this crazy place Tell me what's in a name Some teach their children The way to hate Why we turning away from love We know it's not good for us Turning into somebody's fool There's no love in the things we do You keep saying to yourself so who are you lying to? One by one, each of us is losing peace of mind. talk with all your friends. Take a look at it again. Tell you just where you begin. Hug a stranger, stranger. Only be a leader, maybe now's the time. Maybe now's the time. Seems we've got the blind reaching to the To the left or to the right. All we want to do is fight. Ain't no compromise in sight. We're in danger, danger. Bring it back to the middle, back to the 
your mind You'll be amazed at the things you find Nothing else feels this good Throw out the old brain and something new Don't get hung up on conspiracy Keep those away from me I've got some truth that can set you free I'm told a liar will steal from you Try to take your money and we will rob you To the middle, to the middle. Be all the silver. let's be silver To the middle, love me just a little oh, oh. Back to the middle, back to the middle it back to the middle
you said I took you for granted. But honey, that's something that I never do. <laughs> that's not what your friend said. Now. The day that I can go. It ain't hard to tell that I got my own shit. It ain't hard to tell that I probably take your chick. I got more problems than this. I've been waiting like a bitch. I'm dedicated to this shit. I've been trying to get the grip. I gotta get the green. Gotta get the bag. If it ain't about the money, then get out of my face. One night only, only me one day. Feeling myself cold and come my way. Girl, I've been feeling horny lately. Won't you come through and get up on me, baby? Looking real good, I know you want me, baby. I'ma come through and put it on you, baby. Drive you crazy. Tell nobody. You ain't gotta tell no one. I'm just trying to have a little fun. Hit it one night, I'm just trying to hit it once. You ain't gotta tell nobody. You ain't gotta tell no one. I'm just trying to have a little fun. Give me one night, I'm just trying to hit it once. You ain't gotta tell nobody. You ain't gotta tell no one. I'm just trying to have a little fun. Give me one night, I'm just trying to hit it once. You ain't gotta tell nobody. You ain't gotta tell no one. I'm just trying to have a little fun. Cause you're right, I'm just trying to 
kind of you want You ain't gotta tell nobody You ain't gotta tell no one I'm just trying to have a little fun Give me one night, I'm just trying to eat one